Nickel State University is demolishing Dr. J.J. I.O. Pool to create a communal green space. I.O. Pool, built in 1976, was a facility for students and the community to use for recreational purposes. The facility has remained inactive since the COVID-19 pandemic as Crawfish Aquatics, a Louisiana-based swimming organization, ended its contract with Nichols. Director of Purchasing and Property Control Terry Dupre says the COVID-19 pandemic caused them to shut down operations during that time at all of their locations, and operating IO Pool was no longer economically feasible. Crawfish Aquatics maintained the pool's operations since 2013. The organization's lease alleviated the university of the pool's maintenance costs. The employee cost before Crawfish Aquatics took over operations was $100,000. Upon the lease termination with Crawfish Aquatics, the university began servicing the pool. The university on average was spending $29,000 on pool chemicals and $30,000 on utilities, which includes water, gas, sewage, and electricity annually. Dupre says Nichols sought out other public partners for the pool's operations. However, those efforts were unsuccessful and the pool has remained unused since the pandemic. Nichols student William Schilling said when he was a kid, he saw people use the pool, but during the last three years, he has not seen anyone use the facility. When I was about roughly six years old, I came to a Nichols basketball game and I have a faint memory of seeing some people doing swim lessons, but past that, I've never seen it be used. I, I really think it should, be, it should have been demolished earlier, but I'm glad it's, at least they're taking the initiative to demolish it now. Um, I'm mainly happy that they're putting in a new green area so that I can do some more study work and be outside because personally, I love nature. Nichols Director of Facilities and Project Management, Danielle Bro, said the lack of funding over the last few years has prevented the university from starting the project sooner. Last fiscal year, the state gave, us, uh, gave Nichols $500,000 in deferred maintenance funding. So uh, some of it uh, was used to repair uh, four roofs at Guidry Stadium over the restrooms. Um, and then we also designated funds to um, set aside to demolish the pool at IO. Um, the difference in these funds will be used to um, repair sidewalks on campus. So we're actually working on quotes right now. So um, out of the 500,000, that's the three projects that will be, that uh, those funds will be allotted for. Um, but the IO pool demolition, um, the cost of this, it went out for a competitive bid process and Mr. Randy Landry was the low bidder, Mr. Randy Landry Contractors, and um, his bid came in at $203,700. The construction team will remove all the concrete and fill the space with the leftover soil from the Coastal Center's construction. The pool building, pump house, and pavilion will remain. Rose says the construction should take about three weeks. Once um, the space is filled with soil and it's cleaned out, filled with soil, um, we will plant grass there and we it's a good time of year to plant grass so we're hopeful that it'll grow in quickly so that it could be a nice green space for our students to enjoy. To find out more information about the IO pool demolition, you can email bro at danielle.bro at nichols.edu. Reporting for MECO 455, I'm Bethany Leonard.